I have something new I'm going to be trying today. These My Anchor Up scented lures. The plan today is pretty simple. There's a tropical depression coming this weekend, so Dan and I, we want to get out with our last chance to go fishing in maybe about a week. So we're going to head out of my place, run south to Tavernier Creek Marina, probably pick up some ice and gas, and then head offshore to the Isla Morada Humps, depending on the conditions, if it's not too rough. And we're going to troll for some tuna and for some mahi. If the conditions are too rough and we don't catch anything trolling, I brought some... Uh, bottom rig so we'll probably try drifting for some mutton snapper we're going to be trolling rig ballyhoo and i'm also going to try these new uh, lures out here basically they're scented chuggers it looks like they're completely biodegradable you can get these at myanchorup.com from what i heard these things should work real well and i also had another idea i was thinking in case we run into some triple tail or something out there and we want to throw some DOA shrimp at them I want to get them nice and scented up too so I'm just gonna toss them in there with the rest of the the gang wanted to give a big shout out to D&D custom rods it came by and dropped this rod off. Took him out on a little sunset cruise the other day. Great people. It made me a gaff too, but I don't have that on the boat actually right now. Hey Dan, you know how I said I was going to forget something? Yeah, what'd you forget? I forgot my car key, uh, the boat keys. Oh yeah, that one. So I'm going to... Always runs better with that. Uh, let me get the cooler out of here. I'm going to run the yeah, cooler down here. Okay? I'm going to go get the keys real quick. There's Dan walking to the boat with the cooler. I'm trying to think where my keys could possibly be. Hmm. Yeah, we might be the only ones out there. We'll be the only ones catching Mayu today. I want one tuna. One big tuna. All right, we're officially in action. All right. About halfway to the humps in like 260 feet of water. Got a feather out. Time to put more. Oh man, there's some little waves here. Yeah. That's a juicy one right there. And then I'll put out a couple of rods real quick. So this is... Oh, that's the stuff, huh? These are the scented lures. Okay. How, uh, how scented are they? Because you know how gulps all these stuff. It's yeah. horrible. Be interested to see what they smell like. All right, what color should we troll? White and blue, green, or like a pink red? White and blue. That's what I'm thinking too. Dude, honestly, this stuff feels like condom lube. That's that's, that's good. good. It that like should, vinegar, man. It smells like vinegar, doesn't it? That's what I thought. Vinegar.
That's an interesting knot on there. We'll see how it does. Well, it looks like it's swimming pretty well. It's like popping on the surface up there a little bit once in a while, yeah. Woo, yeah. Something needs to eat that. Time for the D&D customs rod to go out. All right. Keep an eye out here, baby. Oh, we're on. Yeah, it's a fish. You want to put it in a... Yeah, there's a lot of weight on here right now. There we go. That was on the chugger. There is a lot of seaweed on here, but I, I swear I saw a fish at one point. Yeah, there's a fish on... No, wait. Yep, okay, cool. Awesome. My, my baby. All right, this is nice. Oh, he's looking good. We got a lot of the seaweed line. Nice fish, actually. Woo! He's a keeper. Don't even need to measure him, but I will anyways. <laughs> yeah! Oh. oh, the chugger came right out. Hey! Not even five minutes into trolling. That's a beauty. Woo. Should we measure him just in case? Twenty-four. Yeah, right oh yeah, so right he's there. hey twenty-two. Twenty-two inches. Bingo. Keeper. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Want to throw him in the box? Yeah, let's put him in the box. I'd say let's just go right back. Yeah, I think if we just troll around here all day, we're gonna be money. <laughs> humps, schmumps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who needs to go to the humps anyway? <laughs> That's so far away. Look at all the seaweed on the back of the boat. Now I'm thinking instead of putting that daisy chain out, maybe I should put out the other, uh, the other uh, freaking scented lure. Let me bring us around. Put it here, you ready? Yep, I'm ready. All right, now we're gonna run two of these chuggers. Oh, there's a lot of seaweed here. Yeah, they look good popping, man. They pop nice. Yeah, they're popping beautifully. Every four or five seconds, they do a nice pop and go back under. You got that feather going all the way back? Oh man, we're we're in the magic zone now, I think. I wanted to try to get a pet through, but I get Super nice, that's a highway size weed line going running across yep all right she is shut down and we are in stealth mode anything what you got on there i just got a jig but i tipped it with a piece of cut bait okay on the board Let's get these bad boys out again. All right. It's looking stormy out here. Yeah, we're gonna get it one way or the other today. Yep. Yeah, there's a real nice color change in front of us. Yep, I see it. Yep. I wanna get on the clean side of it and then just troll up that. Okay. 
Yeah, I can even see it here. I don't know, we got some rain coming, you see oh. that? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm expecting it, man. I know we're gonna get Woo! Some. I'm not planning on coming in dry. Nope. Unless we get lucky, we just keep avoiding it. I just hope my GoPro doesn't get fried. When did we lose that weed line? Not that I really Yeah, no, the weed line is, we're, we're gonna go back to it. We're going the way back to yeah. it? Yeah. My rain door is not working, so I've... What's it called? Rain door? A rain door. Oh, it's rain pretty door. good. You can... Usually, it works great, but... I'm gonna chunk a bit here by the weed line. I'm just gonna... Yeah, just chunking some squid. Time to find another good trolling spot. Now, this is that blue water we want. Right now, we're it's almost a, like a green water over there. It's a little sporty out here. <laughs> to say the least. To say the least, it is sporty. <laughs> All right, well, let's get some lines out. Okay. Jeez, I gotta like line the boat up properly here and then get the bait out. Get off of there. All right. Woo. Oh yeah, that's a big one. Dang, that flying fish just got major air off of that wave. Yeah, if we get a hookup right now, it's gonna be a 30 pounder. Well, it was inevitable that we would get at least one tangle. That looked good. That was a solid hit right there. He just fucking slammed it. It's probably not a water now. Wow. Come on. He's yours. He's your rod. Oh, okay. I think that's a big fish. You're, you're going to have the, the good job of gaffing it. Alright, I'm going to get the other rod in. You got mine? What's the gaffing? Actually, I don't know if he's a gap. Oh, yeah. you, you know what? I think I can flip him in. Okay. Good call. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Oh my God! Stop shaking your head. Yeah. On that, on the blue and white. Uh, That's a good. On the blue and white one again. Now we both have mine. Yeah. Woo! Oh, I see the bird. Okay. That's where the trophy mahi awaits. Hey, just out there? Yeah, yeah, under oh, that frigate. That is a big frigate bird. Oh man, he's huge. We're about to troll right over whatever he's been attacking there. Put these chuggers back in their little in their juice box. the hero of the day yeah, the white and blue 
white and blue. Yeah, I'm just gonna put a big old heavy weight on here. And then swivel on a, uh, a long leader. 115 feet. Chuck my squid out there. I wanna make sure it's a nice straight line when it goes down. Looks good. Down she goes. I'm gonna put it a little bit in the idle while I drop it down. I'm on the bottom. What? I'm on the bottom. Yeah, boy, I'm on. I'm on. Hey, it's it's pretty good, whatever it is. Yeah, that's bending that rod. Oh. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah. Yep. On that big chunk of squid. Do you need a gap for real? Oh, uh, let's see. I just happen to have one right here, just in case. Oh, you got a gap? Just in case. I'm not going to get for mutton, are we? Uh, that is a mutton, I think. I think it is a mutton, yeah. That right, yeah. Mango. No, that's a mutton. Nice job, man. You're the mutton meister, man. Oh, he's pretty. Oh! <laughs> yeah! Hey! That's a pretty fish there. Spot saved. Woo! Hey, what am I using? This? Yep. Whole thing? Yep. <laughs> I just kind of gave it like hooked it twice right on the tip so it has a real nice motion out there. Yep. I, I went in and I went out again so it's like a little double air hooker. Like so. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Like so. Yep. It's marking a ton of fish on the bottom if you want to just drop it on down. It's going down. <laughs> I don't think we gotta measure him. <laughs> Oh, I don't, think, I don't think we have it. <laughs> oh man, that's what's up. That's a beautiful fish. Dude, look. we're, man, our expertise in the last year has been like. Yeah. Yeah, perfect hook right in the side of the lip, too. Beautiful. Wow, this is a freaking long leader. It worked though. I mean, that's the deal. That might be the trick. Down it goes again. You still on? Yeah! <laughs> you think you're gonna need a net? No. no? Okay. <sighs> then I'll go back to fishing. Hey, I see it. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a shark. Oh, no. Yo. It's got white spots on it. You know what kind of shark that is? Yeah, it's the uh, white spot shark. Oh, oh yes. 
Nice Ooh, a lot. Feisty one. Did he swallow the hook or is no, it hanging out? You got I, I got pliers. <laughs> Woo! He wasn't happy. Look at that. Took the whole square. Well, took the whole square. You got the rig back. That's that's, right. that's a big plus. That's a bony. That's a penny and a bony. Is that a grouper? Oh uh, yeah, a little one. Oh, red grouper. Yep. If you were about ten inches bigger. <laughs> I'm chewing on it. Look, look at all the marks there on the uh, on the squid. Here we go. Yeah, it's a nice one. Pretty. Oh, whoosh. did like a triple backflip. Oh, they got ah. Oh, that was a big fish, whatever it was. I'm using a stupid, stupid J hook because I ran out of circle hooks. Oh, man, I got what is that? Porgy or something? Oh, no. Grunt. Oh. That's pan material right there. At least he's like a decent medium sizer. <laughs> I'm trying to make it a. I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm trying to make you feel better about that. <laughs> Do you want them for the pan? I mean, uh, oh, no, catch no, and no. cook, bro. <laughs> yeah, we already got some fish. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick them up. It's pitcher time. Beautiful sunset. All right. First things first, you gotta take a sip of beer. So I already outlined this guy here. Basically just cut along the whole thing. And before we fillet it, we're gonna just peel the skin off. See, normally you bring pliers to do this, but I didn't bring pliers, so I'm just going to do this with my hand. Just like that. Once you got the skin off like that, well then the easy part, you fillet it. Just run your knife along the ribs. Now some people eat that row right there. I heard it's good fried, but not today. I'll try it another day.
Boom. There's our first fillet right there. Dolphin's got a full belly. That's a dolphin? Well, my, my. <laughs> Did you, were you thinking like flipper dolphin? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the first thing you do is just rip the, the, uh, the skin off. Grabs a lot easier. So is this like the same mahi that you get at like restaurants or whatever? Like mahi mahi? Yep. Mm -hmm. This is exactly that mahi. Mahi dorado or dolphin. I don't think I've ever had snapper. Is that what that? Oh, You've never one? had snapper. Yeah, that's I like snapper. That big one. That big red one. No, that's that a snapper. That one's the long one's the mahi. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> It's a sloppy fillet. Uh, Get well, that eyeball cut. Hey, it's yeah. late at night, all right. Put uh, the eyeballs out so they, so they sink and just throw this yummy boy. Let's get her in there. All right. Give me that sexy little milk. Get up in there. You're telling me to get up in get there? Get up in there. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> We having some technical mm. difficulties over there. All right, then you bring it back. Just like that. Yeah. I'm skin the meat right off. Ta-da! Mm. Yeah, there's one half. What he ate yesterday. Before we can find out. Yeah, we could find out. This is my better uh, side. Since I'm right-handed, this is easier. Okay. Should come right off. I guess I need a bigger knife for this. Alright. Well done. But, I got this. Let's get them out of the box. No, no, no. Alright. All right. Okay. Oh, let's just put it over here. But all this stuff is going to go bad if it's not like... What? Are you guys filling the fridge with beer over there? That's... Yes, we are. Okay. That's great work, guys. Great work. <laughs> Great work, Heiko. That ma that fucking monster is great work. Woo, that's hot. That's hot. Yeah. I gotta take a picture. I'm flipping. Oh, you're you're gonna multitasking with the flipper. Flipping for the mahi tacos. It's hard to flip with one hand, so second here. What you got there, Chris? I got a taco. You got a taco with some meat, some mahi meat on there. Yeah, put some lettuce on there. Look, look at that pre-made one. Put some salsa on there. Do whatever you need to do on there. This one's part partially eaten, almost one one bite eaten. And then this one's almost made. And then mine is. Where'd you put the hot sauce? Good looking snapper taco you got over there, Chris. <laughs> Some finding, finding Dory going on over there. Think your uh, subscribers are gonna like that? Uh, I like that.